Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are actually going to dive into my mind again and go through some of the updates that have been done to the application and I will leave timestamps down below so you can jump around because we will start off with just talking a little bit in general about the application for those of you who have not used this or tried it out. Uh, so basically the way this app works is that it feels like a blend between uh, a blend between Pinterest and Google Keep with an amazing search engine, AI auto tagging, and um, this visual uh, way of looking at things. They also have probably one of, if not the best Twitter or X account out of every productivity app. This is actually from their account and I just saved it because I liked it uh, that much. And basically the way uh, this works is that you capture or save things using the web extension right here or using your mobile uh, phone. Uh, I mostly capture things on my iPhone and it will uh, come into the application and become auto tagged as well as a TLDR. I actually pay for the mastermind plan. Uh, so. I get the TLDR as well as uh, a way for me to read within the uh, application, read articles within the application. So I have a reading mode here which just removes everything else and allows me to just read which is something I like a lot uh, and that's mainly why I am paying for the uh, I'm paying for uh, the mastermind plan, which is $12.90 each month. So it is quite expensive, but in my opinion, it is definitely worth it. But if you are looking for just a way to bookmark and save ideas, thoughts and images and just things, you can just go for the other plan, which is $5.99 a month, which is quite fairly priced. I just uh, prefer the... Uh, mastermind plan because I am um, uh, I want the uh, reading uh, list and the ability to read things within uh, the application so I don't have to context switch all the time and more importantly I want to actually support the development of an app amazing application like this now let's talk about some of the features uh, one is this a uh, smart uh, smart spaces uh, so spaces are basically like folders but I have something called smart spaces which means that things automatically get put into a space so this is my reading list for my articles which I showed you previously and the way this works is that everything that has the tag article and read later where article is done by the AI and read later I actually manually add uh, everything will be sent into here for me to read whenever I want to. I have that for my uh, reading list books as well. So here it is book and read later uh, actually uh, ends up in here. While my uh, book notes are actually here and this just has the tags book. So whenever something is finished I just remove the read later and it appears in here and only in here. Um, instead of appearing both here and here. So uh, that's the difference between those two. And I take my notes inside of, uh, inside of these mind notes here. And these are actually uh, searchable as well, which is great. Again, here you can see that the AI actually works quite well when it comes to tagging things. Um, it is mainly known for its uh, search engine, so you can search for specific things. And you can also do something called deep searches. So let's say I was looking for a book uh, like this. And this this has all of my books now. Let's say I was looking for this book right here from uh, Tolstoy. Uh, so I could search for Leo and it will appear in here. And this is the death of Ivan Illich. And what's fun about this, uh, and this is one of the new features which I wanted to touch on, is that I can actually press this right here and I can see the edition, which is an ebook, and the release date. And for uh, my um, 
hardcover books when I save a hardcover book instead of a Instead of an ebook, I can get the page count, the publisher, release date, edition, and even the ISBN number. This is actually really great if I'm looking for a specific version of an older book that I'm planning to buy on a bookstore because I can use this to find exactly the same book. Uh, that is uh, something I like a lot, and you can see that it works with multiple different ones. Not everyone has the publisher and this all depends on both where you save it from and what the information uh, looks like inside of the uh, web page where you save this from. I save most of my books on Amazon because that's mainly where I buy all of my books. Uh, but that is basically how this new feature works. Another thing that is new is actually uh, documents right here. So now we can have document or we, we have always have the ability to have documents inside of here, but now the documents have a TLDR and uh, some uh, tags as well. So this is a logo design I was working on for uh, my sister and helping her with uh, and it, that's what it says right here uh, but um, you can also um, add longer documents and in longer documents this TLDR right here is becomes more important and the tagging as you can see is actually really really good so it gives me uh, all of the tags I would want another example of this this is a brochure uh, and as you can see, it has the tags. I'm not sure if these are auto tagged or I have actually tagged them myself. Uh, I can't remember uh, that. Uh, I actually tagged them myself. Now it has the um, AI tags after I pressed analyzed with AI. As you can see, it has automation, quality control, fish counting which is exactly what this is. This is something fish counting I did for work. Uh, so uh, this was just an example that uh, I sent or a, a version I sent to my coworkers to look at. Uh, and it gives a great TLDR and it does an amazing job at the AI tagging, which is why I love this application so much because I don't want to spend a lot of time organizing, but I still want the ability to find exactly what I'm looking for when I am looking for it. Another uh, cool feature is this new same vibe feature. So I can press this and I get everything that has a similar vibe. Of course, for this to work properly, you actually have to have a lot of images inside of here. I don't think I have enough. I have enough of these color swatches. That's why these show up quite well. But apart from that, I actually don't think I have enough. Let's try this as well, because I think I have a bunch of these as well. And I actually do. Uh, as you can see, it shows me everything that might be similar. Uh, and it isn't perfect. You actually have to have a lot of information inside of this for this to work uh, perfectly. But I love this feature for my weekly reviews when I sit down every week and do my uh, weekly reviews, which I also do inside of this app, uh, I can actually spend a little bit of time um, looking at my uh, different notes as well. I believe that uh, one thing that a lot of people are lacking in their note taking uh, in their note taking is actually spending enough time going back to your notes and I have a lot inside of here now I think I have around 300 330 notes or so this app actually does not have an uh, import uh, feature which might be a little annoying but I actually liked it because it feel, felt like I could uh, start over clean uh, and it also supports regular written notes, as you can see right here. These are feels more like uh, like post-it notes. That's the vibe of uh, these uh, written notes. But I actually use this to write my blog posts as well. So uh, the tag is blog ideas. Uh, and I actually write them inside of here as well. Uh, 
I actually think I have to search for archive uh, because I've archived them. This is a blog post and I just write them inside of here. That is something I've tried out recently. It isn't perfect for long form writing, but uh, I like to just write within the app the idea already exists in. So when I write my ideas inside of here, I just finished my uh, writing inside of here as well. So as you can see, this is an amazing application. There are some small um, problems I have encountered, things not always working perfectly, but uh, most of the times, I would say 99% of the times, this works amazingly. This is also an application I use every single day and I really love it. It really helps me in my work, which is very visual to have a tool like this both to help inspire me but also to help me remember all of the important things like my social media ideas as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video